Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Ants of Revenge. It's a reality update video, episode 24, and I'm picking out right where I left off, and I'm going to grab some upgrades here. First things first, this upgrade is really, really good. I can't ignore something like that. Next up, I'm going to get this upgrade, which is also pretty good, and then I'm going to get these two, because why not? The reason why I have a 2.0 times multiplier rather than a 1 point something times multiplier is because of me, my reality upgrades. I have actually 5 infinities instead of just 0, and those upgrades are based on infinity count. If I can, if I can, if I can find it. Yeah, they're, they're based on infinity count. So I think the fastest thing to do now is to go into challenge 8. So this is just normally the way... Um, I do it, or you're supposed to do it, pre-reality or even pre-eternity or anything. Um, you just do challenge eight runs until you get to the what whatever it is the, the the this upgrade. The galaxies are twice as strong because it's faster to go through challenge eight. This is gonna be only one run through this because I'll be able to afford that upgrade next infinity. So. You're just seeing how much faster this is, mostly because of this. This is being a really strong multiplier. This is it says 2.2, but it's actually 2.3 because of snap back to reality and because of the power glyph. Uh, it's giving me more orders of magnitude of ants matter, especially at the high end. So I can start dimensional sacrificing. I also got some of the achievements like uh, the gods are pleased. I kind of I I did that. I kind of, it didn't really go over it, but yeah, there's that. I need the Don't You Dare Sleep achievement. I'll do that overnight. I Yeah, this is going to be super easy. You can just see I'm getting E something per sacrifice. Boom. That also gives me a whole bunch of achievements because the infinity took me only... Took me 1 minute and 16 seconds. So, you can see, even now, it's way faster. So, now, okay, I don't want to go into the challenge. I want to go back to the infinity upgrades, grab these upgrades. These are up to 3.0 due to the five times infinities. And now it's just the same thing, except I'm going to go for galaxies. One galaxy will have the same effect as two galaxies. And it will not reset my dimension boosts. So again, the slow part is the initial part. But once I'm past that, it's going to be easy. Also, I think I, yeah, I didn't even see I can get that upgrade as well. I, I need every upgrade I can get. At this point, because it, I mean, it's definitely is considerably faster, but I still have to go through all the challenges and all that. So it isn't like a crazy amount faster. And I, and I, I have a feeling it's going to slow down once I get to something like the grind for break, like the, the grind to get break infinity unlocked. I'm also not sacrificing here, so I can get the I don't believe in God's achievement. And. I also get claustrophobic this run, so yeah, here we go. Now, just <laughs> it is so easy because of the inflation that happens with the 2.3 times per 10 multiplier. So now we're gonna get this and this doesn't really do much, but yeah, maybe I'll try to get an infinity under a minute because that will also help things by let's see wh where is it it's forever isn't that long it, it makes me start with more antimatter which will make the first few resets significantly faster i should probably also yeah i will sacrifice this time because it'll actually help maybe not at two times though um you just get this this 71 eighth dimensions or 88th dimensions and then just big crunch boom it took me only 45 seconds so now, well, there isn't there anything I can do other than just keep doing runs. Maybe I can start doing challenge runs. Challenge 11 is super easy because it's just the normal matter that rises that is not actually a concern. And it's it's even easier because of some of the achievements that are that make it that make challenge runs actually faster. It's like it's it's because of um, wait, which ones are they? Not so challenging, and not a second lost. Because challenge times are not reset on reality. So, doing just doing a bunch of challenge 11 runs is actually the fastest way to go, which is weird. But, that's what it is. 
So I can probably do it in like, you know, we're doing it in probably 10 seconds now, which is just insane. I, I, yeah, I kind of want to see. Yeah, no, it's less than 10 seconds. That's six seconds. That's crazy. But this part of the game definitely is way faster. And I can, I can grab more infinity upgrades. I should probably get like these. And I can get the passive infinity point generation. So that's actually, that's really solid. Maybe it's time to start doing the rest of the challenges. So challenge, let's see, the easiest ones are, challenge four is really easy. So I'll do that. And boom, big crunch. Challenge three is also pretty easy. So we're going to do that one next. Boom, another big crunch. I got the achievement first try. That, that, that's crazy. The normal, nor, you don't get this until breaking Vindy normally, but nope, I'm so strong that it took me only five seconds to get that achievement. To get to complete the challenge. Um, I guess challenge seven next. Seven's a little bit harder. It has changed. It's not the RNG challenge anymore. It's the multiplier per anti dimensions is reduced to one and increases by 0.2 times per dimension boost to a maximum of two times on uh, yeah, maximum of two times, unaffected by any upgrades. So it's it's a it's a bit harder, but Still really easy for my purposes here. Let's do challenge five. Challenge five is actually kind of hard, but eh, it shouldn't be that bad. Yeah, this isn't too bad. This is this will take more like 15 seconds than 10 seconds or, or five seconds. It actually took me 11 seconds. Uh, let's see. Challenge six, maybe? Challenge six is a little bit tricky, but... It really isn't that bad. The only one I really need to watch out for is Challenge 9. Because everything else is just... Yeah, you can just see how easy this is. It's better Galaxy. Come on. There we go. Big crunch. Super easy. Uh, let's do Challenge 12 next. Challenge 12 is... It's the one where... Um, it plays a huge role in, in New Game Minus 5, where... It, it just like each dimension boosts the dimension two before it instead of the one, the, the regular dimension. So it is a little bit harder. Like you, you'll notice. Like it, I actually am kind of struggling to reach my antimatter just because of how this challenge works. But with a sacrifice, that is enough to get a galaxy. A galaxy is actually not enough to beat the challenge. I need to keep dimension boosting, but it isn't that hard. And there we go. Big crunch. Complete the challenge. And next up is challenge 10, where there's only six dimensions. Shouldn't be too bad. It is one of the harder challenges normally, but again, I just have so many boosts here that this challenge really is not going to be bad. I will need two galaxies, but boom, there we go. And that gives me you didn't need it anyway. And then what else? What other challenges? We only got challenge 2 and challenge 9 left. So challenge 2 is the one that also plays a huge effect in new game minus 5 where basically the production of all dimensions is lowered until like it just it just it, it goes to zero percent and it gradually makes it back up to 100 percent in like three minutes it's a little bit rough and annoying but it isn't that bad and, I, and once i get a galaxy it's just gonna be free just like all the other challenges like, maybe except challenge nine that that's the one that i do kind of have to watch out for so let's do this. I don't. I have 50 infinity points. I don't want to spend it on anything yet. Because there isn't really a reason to do that while I'm doing challenges. But eventually I'm going to want to get these upgrades. And it will really start. It'll, it'll make the infinities way faster than they even already are. Which they are just crazy fast. So here we go. Five dimension boosts. I need essentially 30 eighth dimensions. To get the next thing i can start dimensional sacrificing which will start helping things here's 20 eighth dimensions just need 854 antimatter shouldn't be that bad there we go one more dimension boost yeah, this challenge is actually kind of rough i'm just pressing m every like second or so and doing it this way will allow me to hopefully or yeah, pretty easily reach the next dimension boost it is 
yeah, it's it's not not as fast as I'd like it to be, but that's challenge two for you. Um, so nope, there's the next dimension boost. Okay, I'm skipping ahead to this run because it, this is the last run before getting into Inter Inter Galaxy and everything in plates probably. So yeah, it it is a little bit rough, but I think the glyph is like, starting to come into play. It feels almost feels faster than it was before, and boom, Inter Inter Galaxy. Now everything's just gonna inflate. Um, not as fast as normally, but I can just hold it and probably, yeah, boom, big crunch, and I still, I still did it in under three minutes, two minutes and 55 seconds, which is crazy, so it makes all dimensions stronger for the first three minutes of Dindies, so now I should probably exit the challenge and start just trying to do an old run, and... Basically, I just need to do four dimension boosts and a galaxy, and boom. Maybe I can do five dimension boosts. That's probably quicker. So that that gets me about about three point three seconds to infinity. Now, if I want to go faster, that's where these upgrades come in. And now I start at two dimension boost. So I should pro I should probably I'm gonna start using the C key for crunch. Um, it's it's not the fastest. But some, sometimes I can do it pretty fast. Yeah, there we go. So it's basically just this over and over again now, which isn't exactly the most exciting thing to go for. I was able to get an infinity in 2.8 seconds, though, so that's pretty nice. I think now I want to do Challenge 9. So this will still remain rough. There's just, there's just no way around it. It's still going to be kind of rough. The best thing about it... One of the best things about having the Antimatter Galaxies not reset Dimension Boost is for this exact challenge. Because of how it works, like it's just buying a galaxy you kind of just need to almost redo the entire challenge before, but now it's not quite like this anymore. I can just do this, buy the dimensions like this, buy a bundle of tick speed upgrades, buy another bundle of tick speed upgrades, and Get another dimension boost. I have to be a little bit more careful now. I need a lot more. But if I I can turn on some of my auto buyers, so I can like I can just disable all these except the sixth and the eighth dimension auto buyer, and then just do that. Oh no, I want I want to enable that. It's resume auto buyers. It will help just a little bit. I can probably just do a bunch of first dimension auto buyers here. And a dimensional sacrifice and a bundle of six speed upgrades. And this will it's not quite getting me to where I want to be. Keep doing first dimensions and getting this. I just need E84. I should, ooh, okay. The tick speed upgrades didn't do as much as I thought they would. But that is okay. I can just do this. It a little bit rough, but uh, it, it could, could be worse. E83, 80. Need, I just need this. Boom. Next dimension boost. Um, there's a couple more that I need. So now, now I should probably just do this. Just do like one of each until I... Well, it's I actually... Just do this, this, this. I'm not even really thinking very much. But you can see how I'm able to get a whole bunch of stuff here. Start doing this. Get more of these. I guess one more of everything. And I can't really do anything else other than sacrifice. And I'm not. I'm just gonna buy the tick speed upgrades individually, if it is better in the long run. I might. I might want to push for an entire galaxy instead of just the eighth dimensions. So it's probably safe to get all the way up to here. It means it's safe to do this. It's safe to get to E75, one, and like this. Get everything up to E67. Um, is, I'm not sure if that's safe. It is safe, okay. And I can do one of these, one, or a couple of these, a couple of these. Um, safe to get one of these, I think, yeah. Good, just one of each again. I think, yeah, that's safe. I can do a few of these, a few of all these. It's kind of repetitive what I'm doing, but whatever. It's This is, this is challenge nine for you. It's it's just one of the suckiest challenges in 
all of answer and dimensions like even like affinity challenges four and five are not as bad as this i can probably now just buy all the six speed upgrades and get the galaxy and now it shouldn't be that bad i hope <laughs> now if i buy the six speed upgrades I st actually it's still worse than i thought it might be so that that's unfortunate but still i can sacrifice do this maybe i need to get another galaxy this is actually a lot worse than i thought it might be i must have like accidentally got the tick speed upgrades to buy an eighth dimension so i i have to buy individually again look at that but Okay, just, just get all of these. This one will be a little bit more careful. Do it like last time. Or I just do it like this. 30, 27, 6. It's just the same thing over again. I'm just going to cut out of all this. Okay, things, things do seem to start speeding up at this point. Because I think it's mostly because of the glyph effect. I'm able to get a lot more upgrades per every time I go through all these. Like I'm able to get like almost 30 tick speed upgrades. And E192 antimatter, it's enough to get three of these upgrades safely. I can get four of these upgrades. Yeah, it, you can see it's it's I'm getting a lot more than I was before and things are gonna just not inflate, but it's gonna almost feel this way. 184, now up to E228 antimatter. Um, it's enough to get this. Oh, I kind of went a little over there. It should be fine. Ooh, okay, I made a mistake there. Same as the seventh dimension cost. It's okay, I'm almost done with this, this stupid challenge anyway. And come on, I'm almost there. E263, probably just one more round of these upgrades. A few more. Few more, few more. Yeah, I don't. I, I, I want. I want to be out of this challenge. Um, two eighty three. I kind of just want to go. Yep, yeah, there we go. Boom. Anti challenge. It's probably a good place to end the episode again. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Mm -hmm.